So, what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another Zombies World War 2 video, where today I'm going to show you how to open up a secret passageway, a secret door on Groston House. If you go on to enjoy today's video, a like rating as always would be very much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. And also, don't forget to drop a like rating if you enjoyed the video. But with that out of the way, without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously, Groston House is part of the prologue for World War II Zombies. It's kind of like the tutorial mode. If you've played it, I'm sure you will have noticed that there's really nothing in here. There's no mystery box, there's really no perks. All there is is quick reviving MP40, and that's about it. It's not supposed to be a zombies map. It's a prologue introducing you to the game, kind of like a tutorial. But actually, there is an Easter egg you can do to open up a secret door to get yourself the mystery box. And I did kind of like a gameplay of this yesterday. I was looking at this door and I was thinking it looks really out of place. There must have been something more to it. And there is. So anyway, in the house, you will see there is this door. You will see there is handprints on it. There is a rainbow. It looks really out of place, right? Well, actually, you can open this. Around the map, there are 10 lanterns. And all you need to do is shoot all 10 of them. And once you do that, this door will open up. They're pretty easy to find. Eight of them are inside of the house and then two of them are just outside and which you can see by looking through the windows. So just follow exactly what I do in this video. By the way, you can shoot them in any order. It really doesn't matter. And when you do shoot one, you will know you've activated it because you will see a tiny purple glow from inside of the lantern. And also you will hear the noise of crows. So you know when you've shot that lantern. So for the first one, I'm going to make my way down into the kitchen and you can see right here right in front of me hanging from the ceiling is the first lantern so shoot it you should hear the crow noise that is the first one done the second one i should just saw is also on the wall and the third one in this area is outside right here on this box area it's, it's really difficult to see but if you just shoot in that general location you can activate it the fourth one is in here right here on the wall and then the fifth one is pretty much directly in front of it hanging from the ceiling number six is outside on this truck here so just shoot that it's a little bit more easy to see than the other one and then number seven if you make your way upstairs is hanging from the ceiling number eight i kind of got a little bit lost and i couldn't remember exactly where this was but it's on this chair in this room where the armor is so shoot that and then number nine is well right here on the table and then the 10th one is pretty much directly by the door itself that you're going to open so i'm going to shoot it here and you will see the door to the left opens and that is it inside of here you can see we have the i was about to say the pack a bunch machine but this is the mystery box and yeah that is the secret door and that's how to open it simply shoot 10 lanterns it's really not difficult to do and once you do that you can get pretty much every weapon out of the mystery box the jack in the box whatever you want the only weapon you can get normally on this map is the mp40 but the fact that you now have the mystery box means we can get to higher rounds and maybe if we get to those higher rounds there might be more easter eggs for us to unlock who knows but there we go that is it if you've enjoyed the video like i said drop a like rating let me know your thoughts are you enjoying world war 2 zombies make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this on the channel and i'll see you all in the next one thank you and goodbye